Hey everybody, uh, hey everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. Uh, for today's episode, what I got going on is <clears throat> I taped some stuff over at Sales by Five on Friday. It's called The Pity Party. And uh, so I got a couple interviews with some people about their opinions of wine. So it's a real short clip, a real short little thing here. Um, they do this thing every Friday, so here in San Antonio. And uh, I've got a nice diverse group of people. And I'm hoping to be able to do a couple more of these to kind of get, you know, the everyman's or the everyday person's um, opinion about the wines that I review earlier in the week. So what I try to do is whatever we don't finish at the house after I do the reviews, I try to bring, I'll try to bring over there and uh, get people's opinions. So maybe they'll match mine, maybe they'll be different. So uh, let's check it out. Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, and we're at the Sales by Five pity party. We've got a few people here. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? Uh, yeah. All right. So um, you're going to get a few little, you know, cuts in here. We're um, drinking a little bit of wine. I brought a few wine, a few bottles of wine. If you remember, I did uh, Fund, the Riesling from a week ago, and I did the Starling Castle. Let's, let's, uh, Let's go ahead and look at the bottles again. So we got the Funf, and we've got the Starling Castle, and we've got the uh, Kirkland Merlot. Nice. Now I can actually zoom in. Who needs Chris Mott? I don't. Anyway, um, anyway, Chris, I love you, by the way. You do a great job on uh, Wine Library. So I've got Davis here. He's drinking um, I mean, I beer. <laughs> beer. He's drinking uh, some of the Kirkland Merlot. Uh, and he's really, he's really enjoying it. So, what do you think about it? Uh, I like the Kirkland Merlot. Very sweet wine. It's a, uh, the, great, the taste of the grape is strong on the palate. It zooms out right away. It stays with you. Good sweet wine. Uh, it'd be great for dinner. It'd be great for dessert for me personally. For my palate, I drink this with a lot of desserts. Nice, nice, awesome. I know, I know. Uh, Nan had some. He's not drinking it right now. Did you? You liked it, right? Wait a minute. You liked the Kirkland, didn't you? Uh, the Merlot, right? I don't know. I had the Starling. You had the Starling. So what do you think about the Starling? You know, I really like it. It's a, it's a uh, sweeter wine. Okay. And um, what I think about it is that, that it's really, it's pretty light. I think I'd like it. Uh, I, I didn't have it chilled yet, but I think it's really good chilled. <laughs> It's just kind of a light wine to, to yeah, have in the evening in the summertime. I think it's like a perfect Exactly. Wine. It's 102 degrees outside. Come on. That, that's right. That's right. <laughs> a, a, anything cool, chilled, and, and a bit alcoholic is probably a, a, a benefit awesome. uh, here in San Antonio. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying that. I, I Typically, I stick with Shiraz Cabernet blends or, or one or the other, but uh, I'm really liking this. It, it's, it's really good. I... I can't tell you what all the flavors are that are inside of it, okay. but like uh, you know, the wine pros can, can pick those out. But but the sweetness is really good. I can see drinking this um, during dinner or after dinner as just kind of a, a, a social cocktail that that you're having. Right. Uh, I like it. Now it's not like too sweet. It's not like sugary sweet. It's it's a nice. It, yeah, it's 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 a nice it's a nice flavor sweetness that that I can enjoy just just as, as a casual beverage that, that I'm drinking. That that's what I really like. But I, I've never. I've been one of my recent, but I, I'd be curious to, to pick that one up. That's really nice. Um, it's like Davis was talking about the sweetness of, of the Merlot, and I got that too this week. It yeah. has a nice little sweetness to it. It's not overly sweet. It's not killing you. You know, it's, it's a good one. This one this one was uh, $9.99 at Costco. Okay. Um, and I think the Funf was five ninety nine at H E B Plus. And then the Kirkland, I forgot how much the Kirkland was. I think it was... I think it's like $8.99 at uh, Costco. Yeah, so uh, some good stuff. Uh, as soon as I get some other people drinking wine, we'll, we'll talk with them. So, uh, you know, there'll be that, that hard cut. Anyway, word. Okay, so uh, those are the two uh, people that gave us the reviews, Nan and Davis. And I uh, really appreciate uh, them coming on camera and uh, giving their opinions. Um, even though neither one of them had the funf, I had it. And I'll be honest, it, it tasted better, uh, smelled better. Um, than the prior two times I did it. But here's a little quick thing about that. I was in a different environment. Instead of being in an analytical, you know, I got to figure out this wine environment, I was in a social environment. And that's something that uh, you have to be aware of because somebody was there talking about a great wine that she'd had. It was a Pinot Noir. I think it was a Pinot Noir. Um, they'd had it at a wedding and they, they bought a bottle of it. They brought it home and it wasn't that good. And you know what? I told her, I said, it's the environment. And the Funf was a much better wine because I was 
around a bunch of people. You know, maybe the fun, you know, sales by five connection and all that. We were having a little fun with the bottle. You know, made me kind of lighten up on, on it. But um, I didn't, it wasn't a bad wine to begin with. But I just it just wasn't for me the first time I had it. So um, anyway, that's uh, that's it for the, for today. And I hope you enjoyed that. I hope to do a few more of those things. And I'm going to try to do some more in the field reviews soon. Uh, as always, whoop, that way. <laughs> Uh, hit the links for uh, Friend Me Up on Twitter, Facebook. Send me emails. Uh, put the comments down below. And uh, we'll see everybody again next time. Thanks for stopping by.